please talk about a little bit on section versus rules how they are related and why we need two different documents i'm not clear okay good question very good question now the act by w- what i mean the act is the document which contains all the sections okay i'll use the word act patents act and the rules when i mention act it means i'm referring to the sections and when i mention rule the rules the act is a creation of the parliament the parliament passed it and and uh, that which means there was a bill presented before the lower house and or the upper house either way it went to the other house wherever it was introduced and later on it got presidential assent this is a enormous process it cannot be done overnight and th- this is how all our acts are passed the indian penal code the code of civil procedure you name your rent control act in your local town all these acts are passed through the if it's a central act um, the rent control law normally state act uh, let's keep that real go through this process there is a bill presented at one of the houses it goes to the it gets the assent of that house they pass it it goes to the next house the other house then it receives presidential assent and only then it becomes an act we call an act of an parliament if it is passed by the central legislature which is the lok sabha rajya sabha we call it an central act now once the act comes in the act cannot have all the details for instance what should be the margin of a specification i can't tell you that because the act cannot get into that detail because the act is a document which we need to constantly revise so the details you will always see the act says as prescribed as prescribed you will constantly just do a control f and find out the as prescribed uh, you will find that almost in almost every place a form is required uh, take rule 8 uh the last few words uh, such period as may be prescribed it's it's it the act is riddled with this the reason is that this prescribed part can now be changed by formulating the rules so the act amending the act as i said because it's an act of the parliament it is a big problem you have to go through the parliament again pass bills it takes a long time so what we have done is we capture the broad level principles in the act the details are thrashed out in the rules so you will not find in the act what should be the margin of a specification you will not find in the act what should be the corresponding fee but the act will say as prescribed which means the rules will have all the details now now come to the specific uh, the rules the rules are not passed by the parliament the rules are created by the central government by by which i mean the the patent office the central government prescribes the rules now come to now you may ask where did i get this from now let's come to uh let's come to take the patents act and come to rule number sorry section number 159 section 159 of the patents act tells you that power of the central government to make rules it's in accordance to this power that we made the rules okay the rules were made rules to be placed before the parliament but the rules can be made by the central government which means the rules need not follow the path that is normally followed by a central act which is filing a bill and then taking it through the uh, taking it through the parliament now if you take the rules first page the patent rules if you have a copy of the patent rules please take the first page of the patent rules where it says whereas certain draft rules were published so and so so and so in that in the last paragraph now therefore in exercise of the powers conferred conferred by section 159 which i just took you through okay so section 159 the parliament gave the central government the power to make rules if the central government if the parliament did not give the power the central government will simply not have the power so this is what we call delegated legislation the act is a legislation of the parliamentary legislation people elected representatives are involved in creating that's why we call them the legislatures or the law makers the people who sit in the parliament are called law makers because they have the power to pass a bill and make it into a law once the law comes in the details of the law is thrashed out by delegated legislation and for that there has to be a power now the power is given under 159 section 159 gives the central government the power to make the rules and the rules are made so you whenever you see the rules they always are dated after the act that came in 1970 the first set of rules came in 1972 any act you you take this up and see 
the act will come first the rule because the central government will now sit and discuss the detail and the act will always have this word as prescribed as may be prescribed which means they don't want to amend an act every time you need to change the structure or the fees now look at the amendment which we made in our rules may 2016 amendment now we have natural person we have startup in one category we have small entity in the second category and we have others in the third category now we have prescribed new fee structure for all these categories without having to touch the act without having to go for to the parliament now do you understand the wisdom why we have a section section because it's an act of the parliament we cannot go to the parliament to get things sorted out all the time we prescribe some broad principles there and we say as prescribed you can see the language of section 8 and many other sections and the rules are because the rules can be drafted by the central government we can have any number of amendments to the rules any number any number so so that's the reason you had an amendment in 13 amendment in 14 amendment in 16 so may, you may have soon many more amendments so the reason is the rules thrash out the details or which the act mentions in broad principles the act will not mention the details which we are talking about the fees will not be mentioned by the act which form the act will not mention it is the form prescribed or the prescribed form that's it whether it's 13 14 14 all those things we'll have to figure it out by doing through the rules this gives operational flexibility every time we need to change it we just need to change the rules and we need to go to the parliament but the rules cannot exceed the mandate of the act keep that in mind the rules now cannot create a new thing which the act has not empowered it to do it okay that's a short answer does it answer your question okay okay that that's the third thing now the act and the rules are binding the act is a statute which is made by the parliament the rules are delegated legislation the manual is not a legislation at all the manual if you see the introduction which is signed by the controller he says that this does not have binding effect even on the patent office read the manual the first page of the manual the letter written by the uh, i hope all of you have a copy of the manual if you want we can we, we can circulate a copy if you want but it's it's freely available on the internet uh, the first introductory letter which the controller writes uh, in the manual they make it very clear that the things mentioned in the manual do not have a binding effect so you cannot quote the manual and ask the patent office to decide in some way it is just a guideline now try to understand this act is binding created by the parliament rules again binding created by the central government can be challenged if it conflicts with the act the manual are the guidelines it's just guidelines they may follow it they may differ to it but the manual again it comes lower in the list you cannot quote a manual we don't quote paragraphs of the manual the reason why i am not dealing with the manual is partly that because <laughs> they can quickly get over and say that oh we mentioned the manual it's not binding so we do not consider manual as a part of the law it's not law actually it's not a legislation it's actually a guideline we can use the manual to understand finer details that's that's open to us 